a UFC heavyweight division collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kelly. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on the UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 tour. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Those leg kicks. 
All right, he'll engage in a single call of tie. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big punch land. Ooh. Liver kick. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Nice leg kick land. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So there was the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. And it shows. Oh, that'll ring your bell. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the first spot. That was a jab. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ooh, looking to set up that hit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Go finish this fight. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Try to establish that jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Big cross punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down.
Nose guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. 15 seconds. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelly. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after.